Let's talk about takeaway this week, how the club swings away from the golf ball. And the first thing to say to all of you, uh, two things, two things, big picture things. Number one, most golfers I see, whether they're just hitting balls in my golf center or on my lesson tee, are screwed by the time the club gets to waist high on the way back. So when you look at mistakes with alignment, grip errors, when you look at posture issues, all of those elements at the starting position we have to pay such close attention to, uh, you know, only a couple out of 10 people are in the right spot standing over the golf ball. And then we start swinging the golf club back and... You know, a bunch more people now are doing something wrong as they swing the golf club away. So it seems like, oh, my downswing, I'm working on getting into the ball on a better path and everything. But you have to understand about this motion is that something you do, some faulty position or move or element that happens earlier on causes the bad downswing. Don't work on your downswings. Work earlier into the golf swing, work on your starting positions, work on your takeaways, work on getting the club in the right position at the top. Last week's lesson was all about being in a delivery position at the top of the swing and keys and and what has to happen at the top of your golf swing. I might revisit that later again. It's that important. But number one most important thing is to understand that you got to pay a lot of your practice time and attention to your starting position and your takeaway, the swing away from the club. Number one. Number two big picture thing. Hesitancy and confusion cause tension, and when you have tension and anxiety, you know, your your wrists and hands won't flow and swing the club properly. So you need at least one golf lesson to see what's going on with your swing and get your questions answered so that you're not really hesitant, confused, and frustrated as you're even swinging the club away from the ball because tension's a killer in golf, and we have to get rid of it. So a little bit of information to go a long way. And and don't forget to use those iPhones and those Samsung devices to videotape yourself. And if something just doesn't look right, get to someone who can help you with that. It doesn't have to be you identifying the flaw. But if it looks like the club's in a weird position, that's a starting point to at least understanding that you've got to go look at it. All right. So what do we do? We swing the club. Takeaway is actually a terrible term. You know what happens in, <clears throat> excuse me. You know what happens in golf, everybody, is the focus is on the ball and the club head and kind of your hands holding the club. So most people snatch the club away from the ball. They're not thinking about swinging and making a circle. I gave a clinic to a bunch of little kids from the Little Thunderbirds tour last Saturday. I wanted to do the first one myself, so I did the clinic for the kids. And I said, kids, the most important thing you'll learn at the start of this sport is that you want to make a circle around your body. You're not trying to pick the club up and hit down at the ball. That's not your goal. The ball is not the target. The goal is to make the club swing around you in a big circle so that the ball gets in the way and goes traveling towards the actual target, which is the green, right, or the fairway. So a big thing to understand. So in golf, though, your focus is on the club, and you, and you use your wrists and your arms to snatch the club away. So you're not really swinging the club at all. Uh, The best ever visual or illustration I've ever seen for takeaway was done by David Ledbetter way back in the 90s. And David said he had this picture in Golf Digest of an elephant head, a giant elephant head. And he said that if you go to swing the trunk, when an elephant goes to swing its trunk, it turns its head. And you have to think of your chest and your torso and your arms as that big elephant head that just wants to swing that trunk back. And it's kind of a one-piece move. It's not stiff and rigid and awkward. It's just a nice swinging motion where we start the club on its arc, all right? So most of you have tension based on a lack of knowledge, based on frustration or anxiety or, or hesitation, right? And once you get comfortable and get set over the ball right, if you turn your chest and swing your arms back a little bit, We start the club swinging on its proper path. Once it's on its proper path, it's way easier to keep it on its proper path. But I will tell you, as I sit here, 19 years into the radio, 25 years into teaching golf, up teen tournaments, up teen millions of people I've watched swing a golf club, most people pick the club up to the outside or they wing it around inside with their wrists. So you need to really focus and work on that first swingy motion, which is turning the chest and swinging the arms back. Now, here's what's so hard about golf. They're moving in different directions, everyone. And this is what you need to really understand. 
your arms swing the club back without any wrist roll or hinge or flick or turn. So that should be like that elephant trunk or just swinging a heavy item. It just swings <clears throat> back, you know. It doesn't have any rotation or hinge to it. Your arms really kind of swing straight back. Now, here's the here's the issue. The club does not go straight back from the golf ball. A lot of you have this idea that you want to take the club straight back. It doesn't do that. Your arms swing as if they're doing it, but but as you start swinging your arms, you're turning your chest. And if you turn your chest and keep the big triangle made with your arms and your chest intact, the club starts working in immediately because the chest is turning. And this is what's hard about golf if you don't ever get any coaching. Your, your body and your club are moving in totally different directions. During the takeaway, we start this process. The body turns or winds or coils. It works around. It doesn't have any lateral shift to it. So the body is rotating like a giant spring winding up. The arms do not turn or, or bring the club in around behind you. That's not their job. The arms swing up. So the job of the arms is to swing the club up. The job of the body is to turn level. So they're actually moving in very different directions, right? And you need to learn what, how those two things work, how the arm swing works, how the body coil works, in order to start that club moving the right way. And that's what confuses most people. Most people use their arms to bring the club inside, which gets the club behind them too much in a faulty position. Or as they swing their arms back, their body shifts and sways a little bit. And that gets their body out of position. So a proper takeaway is a, a shoulder turn with an, arms, an arm swing. And the shoulders turning, winding up, coiling, starting the coil in the golf swing. As the arm swings, swing the club back. I almost said straight back, but it's not straight back because the shoulders are turning. So the club works inside a little bit. That's the way you do it. All right? It's a swingy motion. It's a tension-free swingy motion. Turn your shoulders, swing your arms, and we start that club on the right path. And it's it sets the size of your arc. It sets the path of the club. It dictates the shape of the swing. It's incredibly important. And a lot of people don't pay near enough attention to it. And a lot of people really manipulate and uh, shift around just using tension. So just try to set up really square, face the golf ball, then turn the shoulders, swing the arms back. And we're going to try to create the start of the arc. And that's really, really important in the game of golf. All right, that's, a, uh, that's our Jubilee Fine Jewelers lesson of the week for this week. Let's uh, take a quick break here. Brother John is on Golf WRX. He's writing some articles, right? He's teaching the whole world things he's taught us over the last few years. What golfers do most? Are you a smart player? We're going to find out a few ideas from this article. And you can go to WRX, Golf WRX, and... Check out John's other articles as well. But we'll bring him on after this.